even better than I was the yeah. last time, baby. Ooh, 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 we back. I'm good. What's up, J team? Welcome back to my channel. If you would like to join the J team, the squad, then all you have to do is click subscribe. Y'all have been requesting me to do a cooking video, and you know what? I miss cooking on this channel, so we're gonna go ahead and chef it up in this kitchen. Make sure to check out one of these corners for my cooking video because I've noticed that a lot of people have requested videos that I've already done. So today I'm going to be making stuffed bell peppers. This is one of my favorite meals. So obviously you're gonna need bell peppers. Obviously. Yeah, 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 yeah. I would recommend getting one that has a top where you can pull off because it's gonna be part of the presentation. If you don't care about presentation then do whatever. Not only are you gonna need bell peppers, but you're also going to need bell peppers. You're also gonna need some onions. Make sure to have some tomato sauce. If you wanna make your own tomato sauce, you can. The most important ingredient to me is the Italian sausage. I got the hot Italian sausage because if you don't know me by now, you know that I love spice, so everything has to be spicy in my life. Now feel free to use ground beef, ground turkey, chicken do whatever you want to do but today i'm going to be making it with italian spicy sausage i have some minced garlic right here also make sure you have some cheese this is kobe cheese mixed with cheddar cheese and lastly here are my seasonings the first thing you want to do is cut the top off on the bell peppers once you take the top off you can just Basically just clean it out. Stuffing's gonna go inside and this will be the presentation. But we are going to put these in the oven just for a little bit. You don't wanna cook them for that long. I'm gonna put salt down first. This is what I do because I like to see my salt, okay? I have a nonstick pan and there's gonna be a whole lot of oil in this sausage, so there's no need to add in any oils, any extra oils at that. Now you're gonna break this up, which is gonna be a little bit harder for me because I started in length, but just keep on working it until it is chopped up finely the way you want it. This is a workout. Right, looking good, looking good. I can smell the spice from the sausage. And you can already see that good old fat right there. We gonna keep that fat. First of all, it doesn't look like a lot and I'm going to saute my onions and peppers into this fat right here. You gotta really look at the amount. If there's no need to drain it, if it's not that much, then what's the point? Why not use the oils that you already have in the pan? It is perfectly okay to keep this fat. Plus, this is my cookie, honey. The onions, the peppers. Add in cayenne pepper, which is gonna give it more spice. <laughs> I added some paprika, some pepper. Go ahead and mix this. Mmm, it smells so good. Oops, I forgot my um my garlic smells so freaking good oh my gosh like I'm doing this man I don't care what nobody say bruh now I'm gonna add in a little bit of the tomato sauce I wouldn't rely on that tomato sauce you just want a little bit of sauce you know what I'm saying that's it you don't need all that extra sauce so good let me give y'all a close-up It's time to taste. I always say this, taste your food. If you taste it, then you'll know it tastes good and you can serve it in confidence. And even if somebody else don't like it, you can say, you know what? It tastes good to me. Mm. I did that. Oh, it's 
just enough spice. It's nice and spicy. That's how you sausage. You know what? Mm -mm. I don't need no rice. It ain't even done anyway. Let's just, uh-uh. So now it's time to stuff your bell peppers. This one right here, it went through something. You know what I'm saying? But it's still standing. It's still strong. I'm still standing. I'm still strong. I have my delicious stuffing. Oh my gosh. It is so freaking good. It's a stuffed bell pepper, so you want to make sure that you're filling it up. Especially if you're making this like more of a family meal. They're probably going to want to eat a couple of these, to be honest. That's why adding rice will probably make it more filling. Adding beans will make it more filling. Now it's time to add the cheese. Now me. I get a little messy around this part because I want the cheese falling out of it. I want it messy, okay? There ain't no shame in my game. Now I'm gonna put them in the oven and we're just gonna basically just let this cook for a little bit. The filling, the stuffing, the filling, I don't know what I've been calling it. But either way, what's inside of it, it is already cooked. So you already know that. You can be confident about that being done. The cheese, you just want it to be nice and melted. So here you have it, stuffed bell peppers. This is how you would present it. And I just think it's just a nice presentation just for people to take off the top. Look at that cheese. Now let's go ahead and taste these things. Dear Lord, please bless this food and let it be nourishment to my body. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. And if you hear anything in the back, I am making a second batch because I have to. No words, no words. Mm. Mm. I'm getting hot up in here. Mm. Who can't cook? That was delicious. Like, you gotta make it to understand. Make sure to try my recipe. If you do, make sure to tag me on Instagram because I do repost you on my story just for saying thank you. I'm happy that I inspired you to try this. This was bomb, okay? This was one, this, this, oh my gosh. I just can't. This is just, I can't even stop eating it. A big shout out to the J team. If you want to shout out like them, you just have to click subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and let me know below. Like for more cooking videos. Whatever you do, make sure to be bold, brave, and beautiful. And I will catch y'all in my next video. Whoo! Mm.